everybody. Um, this is Leslie Matthews, and I'm here with Gracie Grace tonight, and we're talking about um, setting goals. Grace and I are accountability partners for our uh, individual business businesses online, and so we're talking about setting goals tonight, and one of the things that we learned is that in order to be successful, you have to start out with a well-formed outcome. And that's a series of questions that you dig into yourself, why you want to achieve this goal. And it's a lot more helpful than just writing down your goals on a sheet of paper. So we're going to go through the questions um, with each other and um, see what we can come up with. So, Grace, did you have anything you wanted to add before we start? Uh, no, no, it's, we're good to go. Okay, cool. Well, the first question, and this is major, is what is it exactly that you want? Um, what do I want? Uh, I think ultimately I want growth. I want progression in my life, and I want to be able to truly give um, to to people who need help and also to causes in this world that I feel I need to make contributions to. And if I were to put a dollar figure um, to my goal with my business at this point, and I think I would like it to be um, 15K a month. Okay. I'm glad you said that because I was just thinking that it has to be really specific and um, you have to put a, a number on it and be able to visualize that number in order for it to actually manifest. And so my answer would actually be the same. I would like 15K a month, and um, that would allow me to retire myself from my job because I'm a single mom and I have a son, and I would like to be able to spend more time with him. So those are the things that I want, monetary, um, career-wise, and then family-wise. So yeah. moving on... Once you achieve your goal, how will you know? What's the evidence? Hmm. The evidence would be I am no longer consumed by or controlled by my own situation, uh, whether it's mentally or financially or spiritually. I feel that I'm more of a whole by achieving my goal. So with that, I can take myself out of there and, and, and put my energy um, out to the world to help more and, and, and make a real contribution with making helping to make changes in in others in the mm -hmm. lives of others. yeah awesome so what that would look like is you being able to help more people because you have more time and more money right uh, yeah and and people would want to follow me um, and, and will want to find out how they can too get out of their own situation and get into a place where they are better and bigger and, and, and get to their goals. So um, by me accomplishing my own goal, I feel like I can step in and help me help, me, help more people to realize that they too can do the same thing as me, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about what about you? For me, um, I said that I would know I've achieved my goal, of course, by my bank account. It would reflect the 15K a month and not what I'm currently uh, bringing in. And then also I said that um, others would know that I've achieved my goal because I'm able to be more present and participate more in their lives, mainly my son and also my other family members and my friends. Um, those are things that's really important to me. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel the same way with you, Leslie. I mean, mm -hmm. I not only I want myself to come out of the worry mold, or you know, the this the feeling of not having enough, and the feeling of feeling of um, being inadequate with my own situation, or, or being consumed or controlled by, you know, uh, current situations, and I want my family. I don't have any kids, but I want my parents to live a good life, you know, um, they're getting older, and, and I want to be able to help whoever needs help in my family and beyond to to elevate their lifestyle as well. Awesome. Definitely. Yeah. 
Okay. So, um, in context, when and where do you want to achieve this goal? Like your time frame and where you want it to happen? I would really like to see this happen within three months. Uh, putting forth all our action um, daily. I think that's what why we're here together and then we want to hold each other accountable to make sure it happens uh, for each other. And, and when uh, and where? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> At home, huh? <laughs> Right here, where I am. But hopefully, by when the goal is all uh, reached, you know, I will be in a different place. You know, maybe there will be more traveling, um, you know, different locations, and maybe there will be more of, you know, uh, a different lifestyle. Not really sure, but I think I see myself being right here within mm -hmm. the next three months. However, um, everything is changing by the day to get to my goal. Okay. And you have to just help me clarify for myself uh, where I want to be. Um, for me, I can't. I couldn't really retire myself until September, and I won't say why. But uh, that's my time frame to be able to uh, succeed by then. And I would actually like to move closer to my sisters. I live in a city where I don't have any family. It's just me and my son. And I've met a lot of friends that are very helpful. But uh, for me, I would just like to be closer to family, and that's in North Carolina. So oh, that's that where, I, yeah, that's where I want to be. <laughs> Where's your family? Um, my parents are in Ohio. That's where I was raised, and then I have two sisters in North Carolina, which is a little bit closer to me in Virginia. So, uh, okay. So, do you yeah. want to move back there, or? Yes, to North Carolina, and hopefully bring my parents down as well. So. Yeah. yeah, me too. I think I think in three months we should reach. Oh, we we should strive to reach our fifteen k goal. But be, you know, of course, our goal get bigger beyond that. And then ultimately, I want to be able to live wherever I want. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I have to choose one? <laughs> yeah, they have multiple locations. <laughs> you know, like just just whatever strikes the mood, right? That would be mm -hmm. the ultimate for us. Yeah. Yeah. And bring yeah. our family with us too. <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so where are we? Uh, uh, number four. What uh, what resources do you need to make this happen? Um, I think accountability would be a great resource for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we tend to want what we lack and I feel that's what I personally am lacking right now. Um, I've grown up to be a very free, you know, roaming kind of person and I just do whatever I want it. Um, mm -hmm. But I think when we talk about building a business, you know, it's not like it's a play or hobby thing, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's gotta be done. So it's more it's more like you know having business partner to 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 be accountable for and to be obligated to to show up at the establishment to make things happen you know and by mm -hmm. myself it's just so so easy to make excuses and say okay maybe tomorrow <laughs> but I mean, we need that door open for business every single day and if we have accountability partners I think you know that 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 uh, get rid of the excuses. Just exactly. like me going to the gym, I I prefer to go to classes because I feel like my energy level is totally different when I have a whole group of people working out with me rather than just trying to go to the gym in some corner with some machine by myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and sometimes when I work out buddy would help, but for me, you know, like work out buddy would be nice, but having a nice group of people who want the same thing and get to the same goal and like the same class you know, just like, you know, like, like right now, you know, we, we have this common thing. We like this business. We want to build this business together. We want to get to the same goals together. So I think mm -hmm. it's, it's all great to have us do it together. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So you said a partner for accountability and then a community basically of people that are uh, striving for the same type of goals. Exactly. Um, I, I think both of those. And then along with that, 
uh, for me would be a bigger budget because you can do free stuff all day long, but if you really want to scale up, you got to have a little bit of money to, um, you know, bring in more traffic and attract more people. So, oh, yeah, that. thanks for reminding that. Yeah, um, yeah, I think we need to um, also have the money to delegate to help helpers, mm -hmm. uh, all sources to do some of the stuff that we might not have time to or not necessarily good at. Sometimes we hire people who are better at doing certain things than we are mm -hmm. so that we can get to where we want to go faster. So, uh, yeah, that I really need to look into it better uh, to find better assistance and help to to do what I would like to do for my business. Okay. Yeah. What What do you think you need to do to make it happen? The things that we talked about. Um, daily accountability. Um, really take action from what we are talking about right now, and not mm -hmm. just the um, the plan, all planning and not executing. And I think executing is a big thing. What do I need to do to make it happen? I think the first word come to mind is execution. Um, and, um, yeah. Okay. Um, in order I, to find more resources, maybe I need to, you know, find more projects to, to create more income to help me fund it and, and get to where I want to be faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think for me, in order to be successful in doing the task, I have to create a routine that's daily. So that I can get into the habit of doing these things to reach the goal. So, in addition to what you were saying as well. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. so, I think we both agree already that we need other people to achieve the goal. What do you say? <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, we, we, we have ideas and, and we can execute together. Like just like we talked about a video together. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and maybe we can come up with a schedule or to do thing together. Um, yeah, we definitely need to achieve our goal together yeah. with each other and with our own teams. You know, everyone running to the same place together. Mm -hmm. it's, it's. I think it's tough to do alone. Do anything. Absolutely. I don't think. Yeah, you know, I don't think that's what it's meant to be. I think this. It's about people. It's about a whole community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to add to that? Like why we need to have other people to make our goals happen better or more meaningful? No, I think you hit the nail on the head. And um, when you have a community and you're not just doing it by yourself, it means more. And you, you actually have more fun, in my opinion. So yeah. I think you're right about that. Yeah. Um, Okay. So what are you, I think we've already talked about advantages of hitting the goal, but what are some disadvantages? And I know that's not an easy thing to do, but do you have any that you can think of? Uh, the advantages of hitting my goal obviously would be, you know, coming out of my own situation and, and, and feel that I'm free from my own uh, constraints and with that ability, I could share that with other people and help them achieve the same thing. Disadvantages would be uh, uh, maybe reaching a goal will will get me plateau. Like you know, when we like, I'm just I just don't know how. <laughs> like in working out, we talk about like you need to you, you reach a point where you just stop growing again, you know, and 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 you need to constantly mix things up and learn more stuff to, to become bigger, better, greater. Mm -hmm. So the disadvantages would be, I think we will always hit some kind of plateau or statin um, or, or questioning, you know, a little bit of lost and feeling, okay, where do we go from here once we get here? What's mm -hmm. next? Uh, I think that will always happen, but I think we need to be here for each other to make sure we come back on the right track of growth as quickly as possible. I agree. And um, another disadvantage that I had thought about earlier 
and you hate to even think that somebody close to you would do this but once you have success there will be people that try to discourage you or um, show that they're jealous and um, it's just the reality so it's good to to talk about it and make yourself aware that it may happen so that you're ready for it yes we might lose some friends um, we might lose some people who cannot identify with our path mm -hmm. I, think we, I think our fear of this is probably because it's something of the like had happened in our lives you know that's why we we think it might happen um, if if we get to bigger success and have more. But, you know, we are always being taught that we're supposed to just move past it, right? Um, right. Those, are, those friends are jealous of you or are not approval of you, if you're wanting uh, what you want out of your business and your life, then it's going to be time to make new friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, so go to a different class in the gym because you... you <laughs> <laughs> you can you can do that like with your eyes half closed and you're not feeling a thing so you're not gonna go to more intensive you know a level that kind of thing yeah right I like your gym class analogy oh uh, that's all I can think of like I wish I can, <laughs> that's all I can think. I wish I can apply that and do business more uh, naturally but I, I'm making that transition <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah so. Yeah, yeah. So we have to really constantly remind it of our growth and our changes and, and not to be afraid of it, I think. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay, now here's the um, main part of it all, and that's the meaning. And I don't think we talked about values earlier, but what are your values and which of them would be achieved by uh, reaching this goal? Um, my, I think for me, it's, I always feel like people can have bigger, better. A lot of people, I don't know if a self-image thing or, um, or, or, or their environment or their standards are not you know, what it can be in their lives. And I, I want to be able to make a real uh, contribution to to help them realize that, you know, there's more to life than just whatever you are doing. I'm not here to, like, change their thinking, but hopefully it can be of some kind of inspiration. Okay. Uh, and I think without our own success and our goals being achieved and our own evidence of... Um, be able to transform and change within ourselves. It's hard to inspire others to 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 believe. So I think, yeah, definitely that real sense of contribution, that 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 you know, that feel good factor, you know, mm -hmm. to be able to make a real difference in this world. Okay, absolutely. Uh, for me, I value the choice, um, being able to choose my lifestyle and how I provide for my family, and then of course my time. So once I achieve this goal, that'll just knock out all three because I'll have the money and resources and I'll be able to free myself from my current position and I'll have more time and I'll be able to provide for my family, not just monetarily and financially, but um, give more of myself yeah so those are things I, I really value yeah i think what you just said is more of a foundation of of my value so in order for me to get to what i just said i needed to have everything you just said mm -hmm. so that i can be of inspiration to others um that that people would want the same thing i have or something similar to the fact that they can too um, make a, a bigger transformation in their lives and progress into something more mm -hmm. than where they are right now. Yeah. So yeah, we're here to inspire, to achieve than to inspire. Yeah. Yes. yes. Contribution and achieving success, personal success. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the first. Okay. So what will this outcome help you avoid feeling? Uh, I'm looking at my notes here. To avoid feeling inadequate, you know, like <laughs> lack of purpose and 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 significance. You know, who wants to live like that, right? Exactly. And I was kind of chuckling because that <laughs> was a word that I thought of right before you said it. So our, we're definitely on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, just avoid feeling trapped, right? Like I think you mentioned that before. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like. I don't want to go day in and day out, and you know, I just oh my god, that song just all of a sudden come to my mind by um, Adam Lambert, <laughs> the <laughs> man. Um, it's like oh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go through that cycle of every day get up and with no emotions and do the same thing every day. There is really no no substance to life, and come mm -hmm. back no sleep and then start the day over the next day. Yeah. Um, that is not real living. To me, it's not. You know, I don't mm -hmm. want to. And I think I've, 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 I think we probably experienced too much of that to say, I don't want this anymore. Yeah, and in addition, I just had another thought. A lot of people fear um, death before they're able to live out their purpose, and being able to avoid that regret of not living the life I was supposed to, that's what I would really like to avoid. So. Yeah, and not not uh, able to give to anyone. Mm -hmm. you know, like feeling helpless. It's like, yeah. you know, there's nothing you can change about things or do about things, and that's like the worst feeling. Yeah. Okay, so... What does it all mean when you have achieved your outcome? What will that mean for you? Uh, happiness, you know, the first word come to mind would definitely be really happy, fulfilled, mm -hmm. fulfill, fulfillment, you know, like when I was in school, going through school, just having graduated, I mean, like the fulfillment, you know, I still remember all this thing talk about in interviews, like, oh, fulfillment, you know, about, make, you know, <laughs> getting a job and blah, blah, blah. You know, like what's really fulfilling? It's really, I think, being able to grow mm -hmm. and, and give. Okay. If we're so in the same job for like 10 years, that to me is not growing. It's 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 ten years of the same experience. Mm -hmm. yeah, doing the same thing over and over, right? Um, you know, th th there will be changes, but then it's always just within whatever your task is. Mm -hmm. So so let's let's dig a little deeper. Once you've achieved your goal and you're happy, and you've attained the growth that you would like, and you're um, impacting people the way you want, what will that mean for you? That means I actually matter in this world, right? Um, mm -hmm. and I actually live here uh, for a purpose. I'm where I am on a purpose. I am actually making a difference. You know, like actually taking a part into this world and not just a not just speculating or watching others do it every mm -hmm. single day. I can actually do some of that, you know, never at all, but a, a good part of it that would be fulfilling again, that would be the word, yeah. Mm -hmm. And once you realize your purpose and you're actually living it out, what will that mean for you? Um, being able to always say yes to people who need the help. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think for you probably your 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 child, but for me it would be you know maybe abandoned animals in the shelters. I don't, I want let's say less of them being killed or or being uh, abused, or uh, just um, just just family, parents, anyone 
I come across in my life, you know, mm -hmm. and can have a better life. That if I can just reach out and touch someone, and touch their heart and their soul, and make a tiny difference, uh, or, or a big difference, whatever the case may be, depending on how how much I'm involved in their life, you know, that would be, I think, what I come to this life for. Okay, sounds like for you, it's all about purpose and being able to give and impact other people in a positive way. Yeah. And that's, that's really admirable. So. What about, what, what do you have in mind? What are your... Um, for me, achieving this goal means that I've taken back control over a majority of my life. I'm not having to punch in a clock every day. I can choose my lifestyle, as I mentioned earlier, and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, again, that's fundamental of what we need to get out of and become. We can become someone of greater mm -hmm. responsibilities or of more power to 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 make any impact, right? <laughs> if we even, if we can't even solve our own situation, then then you know that would be difficult to want to give anything to anyone, right? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And that, um, what do you, um, I mean, what do you see your, um, like, exactly, you know, where you are with your child, or what mm -hmm. your child would be doing in your family, in your business, once you achieve your outcome? Um, I see myself being able to spend more time with my son, of course, and to me that means having a greater hand in raising him and influence him into becoming the man that I would like him to become. Um, as a parent, I feel like that's one of my purposes in life is to raise this individual into, into being a responsible citizen. So uh, that's really important to me. And then um, that would mean starting a legacy that would carry forth through many generations and eventually, you know, spread and impact more than just my family, but a small part of the world, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it comes in steps where um, I think, you know, we're pretty sure about that. So immediately we have this three months goal. And then I'm sure next time we go over all these questions, it will be a little different or maybe mm -hmm. a lot different. Yeah. Yeah. All so right. This has been really good. Um, yeah. I mean, I think we both started with ideas written down, but just talking about it brought even more stuff out. So. Yeah, and clarity always helps, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. we just get so distracted in life, right? And we got to, like, bring it all back. <laughs> <laughs> Why we're doing this, you know, we got to keep on it tail and make sure it keeps going. Yes. So, right. <laughs> thank you for sitting through this with me. And for anybody out there that watches this, um, yeah. I hope this has helped you to have an idea of how to set forth your goals and uh, by doing a well-formed outcome. And um, if you would like to contact either one of us, I'm over at lifejourneybyleslymatthews.com. And Grace, where are you at? Um, graceworksfromhome.com, or, or click the link below the video um, and find out about what we do and how we are doing it, what this community is about. Check us out, and maybe you'll experience the same change in your lives, too. Absolutely. So, thanks again, and we'll... See you next time. Bye bye. And stay bye. tuned for videos that's going into production pretty quickly. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> All right. Bye. bye.